Hello, I'm Alfred Lamremont Weber, and this is the first edition of the News Live for November 2nd, 2012. The News Live with Alfred Lamremont Weber is streamed live every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Mountain, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, and 1 a.m. GMT. Uh, it's available at Exopolitics TV on Google. Each live broadcast is accessible immediately afterward in an archive at Exopolitics TV. The News Live reports the news that the mainstream news is designed to hide. Let me repeat that. The News Live reports the news that the mainstream news is designed to hide. So, what is our headline this week, the week ending Friday, November 2nd, 2012? Our headline is, Hurricane Sandy appears to be a false flag operation with multiple purposes, including further rehearsing a New World Order, NWO, lockdown of the USA, the United States, because that appears to be the targeted nation here. It's not Canada, where I'm speaking now from Vancouver, Canada. Securing the re-election of global New World, New World Order asset, Barack Obama, whose legal name is Barry Satoro, and activating catastrophobia, fear of catastrophes, in, North, in the North American and in the world public uh, in order to promote a North American Union, a world government, and other New World Order projects. And uh, to get us, I believe, prepared for uh, other heart-triggered false flag environmental war events in 2013 and beyond, and possible events by a, an anomalous uh, celestial object that has a thousand archetypal names, including Planet X, Nemesis, Nibiru, Hercalibus, the Destroyer. We'll talk about that later in the news broadcast this week. Uh, now, as of today, Friday, Friday, November 2nd, uh, the mainstream news, ABC in, in uh, the United States, is reporting that parts of eastern states, uh, for example, New Jersey, are under martial law. What martial law means, it's a legal state which is military government, i.e., the military and military law is in place there rather than the civilian democratically elected rules. And that goes into effect probably be because of executive orders approved under the administration of Barack Obama or perhaps under some state laws, but possibly under FEMA and, and under uh, federal law so that we can see that there are multiple layers and this kicking in of martial law is the first step uh, in implementing the uh, 2012 forward end game of the New World Order, which is, if they can pull it off, which is doubtful at this stage, a shredding of the U.S. Constitution and a lockdown of the U.S. That is internal passports uh, with the NAFTA highway uh, dividing the country, limited access from one end of the country to the other, etc., under the rubric of quote natural catastrophe. As as we will see uh, in 2001. Uh, around the time that George W. Bush was sworn into office, perhaps shortly th thereafter, FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, this, that's the 
the agency that manages your emergencies, which are mainly false flags in the U.S., uh, issued three predictions. The first was that there would be a terrorist attack in New York. Well, that turned out to be the false flag of 2000, September 11, 2001. Uh, the second uh, was Hurricane Katrina of 2005. And it, they, they said that there, there would be a destructive earthquake in, in New Orleans, and that turned out to be Katrina in 2005. And the third prediction has not happened yet, which is a destructive earthquake in California or in along along the West Coast. And as we shall see, there are already foreshadowings or harbingers of that third false flag. Harp, Harp Chemtrails, uh, is uh, the the Harp Chemtrails weapon system is the principal weapon system of the International War Crimes Racketeering Organization, uh, controlled by a consortium headed up by the British Crown uh, and uh, uh, bloodline bankers uh, from the city of London with a uh, agents in Wall Street and in other centers, financial centers throughout the world, uh, these, uh, these control the 17 or so heart facilities throughout the world. Um, and this is how this disaster scenario, this disaster capitalism and um, worldwide police state is uh, furthered according to a script. Um, now, let's see how effective uh, this Hurricane Sandy has been with regard to its goals. Well, with regard to rehearsing the New World Order lockdown, as we see, uh, there are already tests in effect of martial law, which is military government in parts of states of the Northeast, according to ABC News. Secondly, with regard to securing the re-election of global New World Order asset, Barry Satoro, that's his actual legal name, his uh, Manchurian candidate name is Barack Obama, and that's a manufactured name. His paternal, his father, his genetic father, his biological father, is not the Kenyan civil servant named Barack Obama, who was assassinated in a car wreck, a, um, uh, an arranged car accident in 1982 in Kenya, arranged by the CIA. Um, let's see how effective that has been. Uh, the keynote, kind of the principal, uh, one of the principal indicators of whether a U.S. president is going to be reelected or not is what they call the approval rating. And uh, no sitting uh, U.S. president uh, with more than a 50% approval rating has failed to secure re-election. Well, guess what? Barack Obama's, Barry Satoro's approval ratings on November 1st, 2012, were at 50%. Listen to this. On October 27th, 2012, just prior to Sandy, Sandy, uh, the hard false flag hurricane Sandy was from October 22nd to October 31st, 2001. But just prior to the brunt of Sandy on October 27th, 2012, the Obama approval had plummeted seven points from 53% to 46%, and it appeared that his Republican rival, Mitt Romney, had a surge that he would win uh, or stood a good chance of taking the presidential uh, vote. At this stage, uh, with 
Obama's approval ratings above 50% as of November 1st, 2012, while no one is predicting victory, no sitting U.S. president with a 50% approval rate rating has failed to secure re-election. So uh, it appears as though Sandy has secured that goal as well. Uh, if we look at the bookend uh, false flag hurricanes, uh, the heart false flag hurricanes Sandy of October 22nd to 31st, 2012, and Hurricane Isaac of August 21st to September 1st, 2012, were both environmental warfare psyops on the U.S. and world political systems by this international war crimes racketeering organization uh, headed up by the British Crown and the international uh, bloodline banking syndicate centered in the city of London uh, that controls the Harp Chemtrails weapon system of mass destruction. Hurricane Isaac, as you recall, was steered directly into the GOP, into the Republican Convention in Tampa, Florida, uh, so as to cancel the initial events on the first day and kind of deflate that convention and deflate its, its kind of public profile and the bounce that Romney would have gotten. And, uh, uh, and then Hurricane Sandy uh, uh, came in um, in uh, October 22nd to 31st, providing, uh, bringing up the approval rate uh, to the required level. Uh, as well, there was a, a relatively shallow earthquake uh, on October 27, 2012, that occurred on the west coast here um, off, off at Haida Gwaii. That's a, an island north of Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island is about the uh, size of the state of California. And it was north of that, a 7.7 .7 earthquake that occurred just after 8.04 p.m. on October 27th. And there's a that 100,000 people were evacuated from Hawaii on a tsunami warning. Uh, it was felt in some parts of northern BC. It was not felt here at all in Vancouver, BC. And uh, this may have been sort of a pincer movement uh, in kind of uh, moving catastrophobia in the North American. Uh, population both on the East Coast and the West Coast toward accepting a North American Union of uh, moving both Canada and the US uh, in a race toward the bottom. Uh, now let's begin, uh, let's switch and begin to look at uh, some of the what we call friendly fascism or iron fist inside the velvet glove aspects of Sandy. <clears throat> if you look at uh, Hurricane Sandy as compared to some of the other in environmental war harp directed false flag events, the loss of life was very low from Sandy. For example, when you compare it to the 150,000 dead in the harp Myanmar cyclone of May 2008. That's 150,000 dead compared to about 100 dead. Uh, and uh, some people say, you know, some people say, oh, it was off world technology that counteracted the New World Order harp manipulation that kept the death toll that low. But I think that the more realistic um, perspective is that the 
New World Order controllers, heart controllers, uh, took a friendly fascism approach. That's a term that uh, when I was a futurist doing um, a, in uh, 1977, in, in, in the mid-70s, doing the proposed Carter White House extraterrestrial communication study, the term friendly fascism uh, came up. And that is sort of fascism with a smile. And that's, in a way, Barry Satoro, Barack Obama embodies, embodies friendly fascism. It's like he is so user-friendly uh, from a certain point of view. And it's friendly fascism. Uh, the, the New World Order, uh, hard controllers wanted to tilt the election to Obama but not do a genocidal environmental war attack like the 2008 Myanmar cyclone where 180,000 persons were killed. They were yellow and brown and they were in Asia and that was a different case. Or the uh, February 2010 Haiti earthquake that was the Vancouver Winter Olympics earthquake. Uh, what occurred there is that um, the Canadian Governor General, the Governor General of Canada, was actually a woman of Haitian extraction. That's, that's the Canadian Governor General is the woman that represents the British Crown, the Queen of England. Uh, and uh, the government of Haiti uh, was resisting the Rothschild controlled companies who wanted to uh, exploit the gold reserves and petroleum reserves that had just been discovered under Hispaniola, the island that Haiti sits, sits on. And uh, so they flattened Port au Prince and the government of Haiti, the presidential palace with a, an earthquake bomb by heart that resulted in 200,000 people killed, more than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, and that certainly was not friendly fascism. Um, uh, so uh, one has to look at it from that perspective. Probably it's more to rehearse a New World Order lockdown in North America with gradations while still maintaining Barry Satoro, Barack Obama as a friendly fascism New World Order asset. This gets us into the next subject here on the News Live, uh, which is the whole New World Order uh, uh, facets or aspects of, of this of uh, this environmental war event known as uh, Hurricane Sandy. Now, we know that um, the Hart Chemtrails global weapon system is controlled by the Bloodline Bankers, City of London Bloodline Bankers and the British Crown. And the City of London Bloodline Bankers, it's been documented that they are essentially a satanic cult. Uh, and it's been documented in uh, many books. One book is called uh, The Illuminati, A Satanic Cult That Has Hijacked the World. And I urge people to Google that and to read it and to judge from themselves by the evidence. And so here we have a whole number of elements. Uh, that harken back to what actually happened in World War II during the Hiroshima bombing, where the one Christian city in Japan, Hiroshima, was chosen for the bombing by the Manhattan Project, which was, in essence, controlled from the inside by agents of the City of London Illuminati Banking uh, Consortium. Uh, that's one of the themes here in the, the world genocide is anti-spirituality, anti-spirituality, 
spiritual leaders such as the Christ. It's not a religion such as the Vatican, uh, uh, you know, as a political organization, but rather uh, things of that sort. So what do we have here? And just open your minds to the fact that Christ, Christi, Christ, Christ, Christopher Christi, Christ, Christ E was a central character in this uh, in this hit, in this environmental war hit, and that the environmental war hit drove Christ Christie into the arms of New World Order asset Barack Obama, and the environmental war hit had the function of raising Barack Obama and Christ Christie Christie into world prominence as heroes, and with the satanic intelligence deploying this sort of laughing all the way home. Now you may think that this is uh, this is idle but a, a long study of, of uh, some of these elements for example uh, we've been able to isolate that the that the uh, Tromso Norway heart facility which was used a, a November 9, 2009 uh, for the Tromso spiral, which occurred the night before Barack Obama's Nobel speech, in which he mentioned war and not peace. Well, that was when one of those productions, and the same Tromso in Norway, our facility, was used for the F March 11, 2011 Fukushima heart event. So. Barack Obama seems to be a major, I call it upper theater, upper theater New World Order asset. And that's the news that has been confirmed. That would be sort of headline news. Uh, if we go back to the fact that only three archetypal personalities have been allowed to speak in the temple of the New World Order, in uh, its capital, London, UK, that's at Westminster Hall, and that's the Pope, the Queen, and the Obama. I call him the Obama. Those are the three archetypal figures in the New World Order panoply at this time. Barack Obama spoke there at Westminster Hall on May 25th, 2011, and they're fulfilling the roles of the Pope, the Church, the Queen, uh, you know, sort of the world regent, and now there's rumors that she will either step aside or demise, and uh, that they'll skip a generation, already Prince Philip is promoting it, and go to her grandson, Prince William, who is now fully qualified to be the uh, first Zionist king, because he and, and his consort, Kate, are both from uh, bloodline banking stock. Uh, so the the Rothschilds and that banking stock have now achieved the British crown uh, and that's their lifelong ambition. So we'll see the British crown and of course then the Obama, the third archetype, uh, uh, he is sort of the world president type. That's what he's kind of doing. Uh, so uh, well, we have a few minutes left in the broadcast, so let's look at some of the data here. And what was interesting is that U.S. News and World Report is a mainstream newspaper, and it actually ran a story on October 29th by Elizabeth Flock saying conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theorists saying Obama engineered Hurricane Sandy. Uh, saying as Hurricane Sandy blasts the eastern seaboard, a number of conspiracy theorists have decided Barack Obama engineered the megastorm to secure his reelection. And then they go on and talk about HARP. Well, if one goes out um, and looks at the data just for the record, and this is um, on some of the key websites like HARPstatus.com, uh, in uh, an independent website that has 
a real-time sensor network from over 28 sensors placed in rural areas across the United States. During the Sandy period, they recorded, quote, the strongest harp readings in the project's history. Uh, there were literally, quote, off the charts and led credence to parallel claims that Hurricane Sandy is being engineered to create massive destruction. Uh, some of the facts or the conclusions are that the strongest readings in the history of this project have peaked. A never before seen white shade indicates a value higher than 10 on the scale. Uh, the scale is of 1 to 10, and this was above 10. And uh, HARP status, uh, 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 the, the projection showed uh, New Jersey, and they showed the storm being steered. So there's, there's plenty of, of evidence uh, on, on, on the internet. I'd, I'd like to spend the closing two or three minutes of this initial broadcast of the news live, uh, just reviewing with you, the viewing audience, um, the false flag events that have been wreaked by the harp chemtrails, uh, false flag uh, weapons of mass destruction system. And you can go to Exopolitics TV and you can see uh, an hour long presentation that I made uh, to the Consciousness Beyond Chemtrails conference there in Los Angeles this year that sets out all of the science behind this. Let's look at these operations and see what the script is and what the damage is. First of all, the false flag operation of September 11th, 2001. HARP was one of the major tools used in that to bring down the World Trade Center towers. And we have the 9-11 War Crimes Tribunal. You can go to its website at 911warcrimestribunal.org. The tribunal will be issuing its indictment, a first ever indictment of key co-conspirators in the 9-11 uh, uh, co conspiracy. That indictment will be issued on January 22nd, 2013, two days after the inauguration of the new US, new U.S. president. Hurricane Katrina, another heart false flag, August 28, 2005. The Haiti earthquake of 2010, 200,000 dead. The BP Gulf oil spill of April 20th, 2010. The Obama administration was responsible for the negligence that allowed this with the Corexit to ruin the Gulf. And Barack o o Obama and his Department of, of Energy and, and the Coast Guard actually aided and abetted BP and the British Crown in doing this. The Fukushima HARP radiation event of March 11, 2011, likewise, the Barack Obama Department of Energy under David Chu actually radiation event, and you can follow all of the documentation of this in interviews and articles at our website, www.ecologynews.com. That's ecologynews.com. And now we have Harp False Flag Hurricanes Isaac, August 21st to September 1st, 2012, and Sandy, October 22nd to 31st, to 31st 2012, around the selection of 2012 and the implementation of the New World Order lockdown. Uh, I commend to you all of these. Uh, thank you for being part of our inaugural broadcast of the News Live. Uh, the News Live can be seen every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Mountain, 8 p.m. Central, 
9 p.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. GMT every Friday at Exopolitics TV. I'm Alfred Lambermont Weber, wishing you a wonderful evening. And remember, expect a miracle because life is miraculous. Thank you.